Hello and welcome back to another video of mine. And I still don't know how to do these intros. <laughs> Anyways, this is my first ever gouache portrait. I had used gouache once before just to see how it behaves, how much water do I need to use, etc. But um, that was uh, flowers. And I'm not the type to draw flowers really. I'm more of a faces, bodies, humans type. So I was really curious how I would deal with gouache when drawing, when painting, skin tones and hair. And here's where I realized that my palette knife, the only one I have, is too big for this type of palette. It's basically just a plate that I bought, very cheap. It's just plastic and I think the surface is fine for gouache but the edge of the plate is just too high and the palette knife is too long so you will see me struggle mixing the colors. I mean here it goes. Now in hindsight when I look at this footage I see that it's way too dark the skin tone that I mixed and then I'm look at that i'm putting it on the on the forehead in between the eyebrows and then all i'm doing is taking a little bit more water to like yeah water it down and why am i not stopping why is she continuing i can't believe what i'm seeing it's so frustrating i want to shake her and make her stop it's clearly way too dark and way too yellow but the good thing about gouache is that it's opaque. You can always draw over what you've already drawn. Painted. I'm always saying drawn. It's painting. Okay. So you can always paint over what you've already painted. And also, what we will see later in the video, you can lift the color pretty well, I think. I'm not sure how it would be with color that's very old that you did a long time ago that had time to really dry but yeah this is not acrylic gouache so it does react to water and it will lift and it will blend again so you have to be careful with that also if it's not acrylic gouache you might just you know if you use too much water on top of a layer that's already there you can lift or muddy or blend the layer away that you already had that you wanted to keep. So that's something to keep in mind with gouache. But um, for my purpose, because I'm trying to correct mistakes that I've made all the time, this is a pretty good attribute that gouache has because I was not happy a lot of the times with how things looked, so I just removed the paint, which was pretty easy. And I am very thankful for that because I'm one of those people who's very afraid of painting if I know that the brush stroke that I make is going to be there forever and I will never be able to change it and it will be visible for all eternity. That scares me. So I'm very hesitant sometimes to paint. But this is, I think, pretty good about um, gouache. Because you don't really have to be afraid that you can't fix what you did wrong. So I'm doing a light shadow first with um, ultramarine blue mixed into the skin tone and it's kind of like a bluish lilac-y gray. So with that I'm doing the shadow in the jaw and around the hairline and on the eyelids, also defining the jaw muscle a little bit, you know, that little. Anyways, after the lighter shadows or the lighter layers are applied, then I'm going in with darker tones for the shadows, but it ended up looking like he had on blue eyeshadow which is not the look I was going for. And the neck also was clearly too dark, so I lifted the color with a towel 
and some water I think but as you can see that worked okay and then I'm I decided to first do the eyes to see you know if you have another color beside another color then you can figure out what you need to change about that color better because it just looks different so in order to decide if I needed to tone down the blue eyelids I first wanted to see if the brown eyes what, what kind of effect they would have on the overall picture And again, I'm doing something that I will regret later. <laughs> and I mean, usually I know that you don't, in most cases, you don't just take ivory black and put it on a painting. You don't use it on as a shadow, you just, you know, you use other colors, not straight black. So this is also something that I will correct later on <laughs> and paint over a little bit at least. It's a new day, we're gonna use a new palette. For the background I'm gonna try different things now. I've never tried um, any of these colors, but especially this one, I don't even know what this is. I have never heard of it, but it was on sale, so I got it. It's called Matter Lake Deep and Prussian Blue, because I want to achieve, I want some type of like dark pinkish tone for the background we'll see how that works so there's gaps here so i need to change these because i didn't work on this for a long time Oops. oh that's beautiful This is very liquid. Stop! Oh no. I guess this went bad. Okay, there it is. See, when I bought it, it was already spilling. Uh, I guess it went bad. But I can still use it. It's fine. So I'm listening to a podcast about creativity right now. It's by, it's Get Real, um, by, maybe you know him, by B.A. Like, like, like a Korean, by K-pop stars, basically. And it's what their guest is saying right now is that you should you know a lot of people talk about quality over quantity but he's saying no it's actually the other way around if you because a lot of us have this slump of creativity where you just don't feel like you're in the zone you don't and then you just wait for creativity to come but that's not how it works most of the time it, it just you can't just wait for it to come what if it doesn't come for a long time? Which happened to me. And I didn't draw or paint for like five to six years, I think. So what they were saying was, it's quantity over quality. Just do, 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 do it. And then through that, even though you don't like what you're doing, maybe you get better. And that's the goal, right? So just do it. 
quantity over quality, at least at first, because you, that way you get used to being creative all the time. You get used to getting into the creative zone and at the same time you get better. And now that I have the background color, I have his uh, clothes and the skin is pretty much done. The hair is there, the eye color. Now I can determine whether I like the blue on the eyelids or not. And I did not like it. It was still too blue for, in, for my taste. So I paint over it with a more reddish, dusty, pink kind of tone yeah to still have some shadow there but make it less blue I feel like with with gouache the hardest thing to do is so I'm trying to fix this, right? It's, I feel like the the area under the lower lip is coming too much towards, towards the right. And I'm trying to put in the color of the background over it. But all I'm doing, like I'm not really, it's not opaque enough. Now if I put white, the color changes, the whole value changes. That's not gonna work. So what do I do? See, it's not doing anything. Okay, I'm gonna try to lift the color under the nose and under the chin. Wish me luck. And here's what I was talking about before, where I wasn't happy with the shadows. And look at that. They just disappeared. It's just the, the layer underneath with the light uh, skin tone that's still there, so somehow I didn't erase that. And I'm just using water here, a, a clean brush, as clean as possible. And then just slowly try it. It's, I mean, it worked so well for me. I was so surprised and yeah, I think it saved the painting. And then I put in another shadow, which ruined it again, but we're not gonna talk about that. At this point, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what needs to be happening. I'm gonna... Uh, I don't know what color I'm gonna... Oh, I know what color I'm gonna do for that. Okay, but after that, I really don't know what's happening anymore or what needs to happen. Ugh, and I'm frustrated. And in an effort to make the hair less straight black, I'm now putting in some more details in very light colors. At this point, maybe you can tell, I, I didn't really care anymore. I just didn't want it to look flat black. Looks like a friggin' pajama. I'm gonna go over it again. Okay, now... I was about to say, look how clean. You know what? One tiny thing. Where's my brush? So for this being my first gouache portrait, I'm pretty proud of myself. I see a lot of areas 
where I could improve. I mean, obviously, but I mean, I see a lot of areas that I don't really like. But all in all, I'm happy. This is okay. This is presentable. I'm fine. <laughs>